Okay, I'd like to take another quick look at the uh, toolbars and customization. Uh, reopened our uh, Alaska project here. And if you notice, uh, I've, I've sort of played around with things a little bit and moving things around. Um, each of these toolbars can be dragged uh, to create a, another line, for example. Uh, they have some very faint uh, vertical dotted lines that if you grab, you can drag these around. And it kind of gives you an idea of, of the individual toolbars. Uh, if we drag them down far enough, we can actually get them to create another line. Now, uh, you can see this is not really a very um, useful uh, view of the space that we have to work with because I have all this, this gray dead space here, which um, really is not uh, uh, very beneficial. So what we can do with these is to reorganize those in a way that um, we like, uh, and we can drag them so that they have uh, some additional space uh, between them. Uh, also, there may be some that we would um, want to get rid of these, these lines here. So uh, one thing you might want to do is drag this toolbar down and put it on the side. So now what I've I've done in each of these operations is to um, increase the the size of um, the viewing area of our map. Uh, we can also use the right hand side. So uh, this is the editing toolbar here, and we might want to drag that down and, and actually place it on the uh, on the right hand side. So if we're we're adding data, we're on this side here, which is so it's so sort of your mentally you drop to here. And if you want to edit the data, then you um, you come over to this side. So as you reorganize these toolbars, um, we can increase the size here such that, um, and, and even here, you can see we can go up one more line there, get that to go up there maybe. If I'm careful, I can drop that in and that uh, gets me to use this. Now this will come up um, each time you start the program as to the way that you've, you've uh, optimized it. Uh, so now you can see our, our view of Alaska is quite a, bit, uh, quite a bit larger and we can get the scale of it uh, in our viewing to, to be a little uh, more user friendly. Uh, also here on the uh, panels, um, each of these panels, if you'll recall, the layers and browser were uh, individual tabs. And so we can manipulate whether we have a tab or a full view. Uh, notice browser is down here with shortest path as a tab. Uh, to change these, uh, you can click on the uh, sort of maximize, minimize thing. Uh, now this browser actually could be dragged um, anywhere we wanted. It's sort of detached, uh, but we could come up and put it above uh, layers. So now I actually have three panels open at the same time, and that may be uh, handy for us. Or I can uh, detach it and perhaps put it um, inside. So if I carefully drop that inside another panel. Uh, now you may not want to to play around with this a whole lot, but what can happen is the program can get sort of out of sync and so you need to be able to manipulate these panels and these uh, to get them back to to where you're you're looking. Uh, for example, you may end up with a situation where all of the panels may end up being turned off and if that occurs, uh, the nice part about that is that you've now really maximized the viewing area of, of your map. So we have all this space now that's available. However, we can't really work too well with that in that fashion. So there's a number, uh, most likely layers are one that you're going to want open and uh, the browser is, is handy to have open as well. And you may, uh, you may want the browser to be its own entity 
So if you notice if I if I drag it here, it's going to be inside. If I go down just far enough, uh, the program will let me place it underneath, and then we can adjust these um, accordingly. You can also adjust this to to what's convenient to work with. So as you're adjusting the, the program to to suit your needs. Now, unfortunately, in the in our laboratory environment, uh, the program will go back to how it was set up. Uh, originally uh, each night. So uh, you may find that you want to do this quite a bit uh, if you're on campus, uh, but your own system at home will remember exactly how you've got it, regardless of how it was stored. So if I, I bring in a project that I did at school and I, I, I bring it to my home computer and start it up, it's going to start up with this uh, user interface.